Guys, Angie Mods back with another video. Um, today I'm gonna be spray painting my drum brakes for y'all. Um, I didn't record a video on how to spray paint your valve, not valve cover, but the um, the front brake calipers, which is right here. I spray painted them blue. I didn't make a video on that one, but um, I'm sorry about that. I was kind of in a rush to do this project. Um, uh, but today I'm going to kind of go through the same process, but just with the drum brakes, which is what this car has in the back. Right here, you can see, um, it's a little rusty. I want to go ahead and clean that up and make it look more fresh with a new um, fresh paint, uh, set of paint on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the steps on how to do that. First things first, um, you're going to need some primer. Um, some engine well you can use engine or they have um they sell these at autozone um you can even get the brake caliper paint but i you can still use the engine one as long as it's heat resistant which you can see heat up to 500 um degrees fahrenheit same thing with the primer and then you finish off with the gloss clear But also, before you do all that, you want to make sure you clean your surface with some alcohol. And I got some super clean, dissolves grease super easy, or some brake clean with some shot rags. And I'm gonna wire, use a wire um, wheel brush with the um, drill. Also gonna need some trash bags to mask off the interior so that you don't get, um, any paint inside or on the outside of your car. Uh, going ahead and um, take my own um, lug nuts off and get with y'all in the next one. All right, got my jet, um, car jacked up. And now we're gonna take the lug nuts off. So I masked off the um the area where I'm gonna work at with the um trash bag and now I can start um prepping the surface by cleaning it first off um using the 
wire wheel brush to get all the dust, the brake dust off, sanding it down or using, um, you can use sandpaper or you can use a metal wire brush like I'm fixing to use with the drill, it makes things a little faster. So um, that's what I'm about to get into. Let's get it. Get in those little nice uh, small crevices. It dries instantly, this stuff. Real good stuff here. CRC makes good um, products. See all that dirt that's coming off of that? That dirt is still on there. You want to make sure it's clean as possible when you put that fresh paint on there. Super clean now. paint over all that um dirt and you had to start all over your product finished product wouldn't have looked good because of um all that dirt and debris that's on there that break the would have made the um, paint not look good on that again break clean Put the alcohol on there and rub it in with the alcohol. See all that dirt? She's crushed.
you start painting them. First thing, primer. Shake it real good. Always make sure you do a test on spray first. Now we start printing. the first one is going to be heavier and you wait um, five minutes after the first one. And wait five minutes. Right, the second coat is finished. Um, that we're waiting um, 10 minutes for this one to dry and then we do our last coat which is going to be a lot heavier than this last one we'll wait another 10 minutes for that to dry and after that we're going to start using the black um, spray paint all right see you when we get to the next one Third coat's finished, wait 10 minutes, and we start painting the, um, we'll be using this paint, Duple Colors Engine Enamel, black paint. All right, make sure I shaped it real good, and uh, make sure you do it on test break. Now we start. Okay, now we wait 10 minutes. All right, second coat. We're gonna go on a little heavier than the, the, um, the first one. Test spray. All right. to use the gloss clear but the gloss clear will make it stand out better and pop give it that glossy finish all right guys time to put the clear coat on it's been 10 minutes i shaked it up pretty well do a test spray just real quick all right let's start spraying First one, and I'll wait 10 minutes. We're gonna wait 10 minutes on all three. All right, time for the second coat. Shake real good. And start spraying. All right, now we'll wait 10 minutes. We'll be back on the third one momentarily. All right, third and final spray of clear coat. And we'll let it dry for 10 minutes. Yeah. 
finish with this side. All right, guys, I'm finished. This is the finished product on the outside. Um, tell me guys what y'all think down below in the comments. I think it turned out pretty nice. All right, that's gonna conclude the ending of my video. Um, I hope y'all guys like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And catch me in the next video. Peace.